Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Open You Learn Now. I'm your host, Helen, and I'm excited to bring you all the latest news and updates from the Open Euler community. As always, we've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. In June 2023, the community released a total of 76 security announcements, fixing 51 vulnerabilities, including 3 critical, 26 high, and 22 others. The following vulnerabilities have a significant impact and require special attention. Wireshock Heap Buffer Overflow Vulnerability with a CVSS score of 9.8, HDF5 out of bounds read vulnerability with a CVSS score of 9.8, and kernel UAF vulnerability with a CVSS score of 9.8. The Open Euler community regularly fixes vulnerabilities in the maintained versions and releases security patches. It is recommended that users pay attention to the Open Euler official website, security announcements, and install patches in a timely manner. On May 20s, the Open Euler SDS meetup was held at Beijing. This meetup is jointly sponsored by XSky and Open Euler SDS SIG. More than 30 developers from 19 enterprises attended on site. During the meetup, SDS experts and developers discussed the latest progress and innovative applications of SDS technologies in Open Euler. The Open Euler community welcomes more community meetups. If you need a platform to discuss cutting edge technologies and open source trends, don't hesitate to join us. Recently, Open Euler G11N SIG and Kernel SIG jointly launched a series of mini courses. Each course takes no more than 10 minutes to share technological knowledge of operating systems in easy to understand languages. The courses are now on YouTube. Subscribe to our official YouTube channel for new episodes. Recently, the Bioconductor community, one of the largest communities in the field of bioinformatics, announced that Kunpeng hardware plus Open Euler OS has been added as one of the official verification platforms. The addition of support for Quimpon hardware and Open Euler open source operating system for over 2,000 pieces of Open Euler software means that universities, research institute, and enterprises can directly use these software pieces on Quimpon. In May 2023, Union Tech and Huawei jointly initiated the MAM Safety SIG, aiming to discover and solve memory security problems of key OS components. During the preparation of the SIG, Union Tech also initiated AtSudo and AtShell open source projects, which redevelop sudo and bash in the operating system using the Rust language. These two projects have been contributed to the Open Euler community. In the future, the SIG will actively interact with related communities outside China and promote the achievements of the Open Euler community in the memory security field. The adaptation of MuscleLive C library has been achieved on the Open Euler embedded operating system replacing the glibc library to build images. Currently, images compiled with MuscleLibc as the base library are available on the Raspberry Pi 4 development boards. As the application of ROS becomes increasingly diverse, ROS2 was developed to meet the growing needs of, of robot applications. Humble is a long-term support version of ROS2 with a mature ecosystem. ROSSIG plans to introduce ROS2 Humble in the Open Euler SP2 version, involving more than 450 software packages. After successful porting, users will be able to use ROS2 through Open Euler and develop robot 
algorithms and software based on ROS2, supporting algorithms such as robot mapping, localization, navigation, and more. In the Linux operating system, the process with ID1 is known as the init process, serving as the ancestor process for all other processes. While modern Linux systems have replaced the init process with the systemd process, the concept of the first process still remains. Its core functions include system startup and zombie process raping. Sysmaster is an improvement and exploration by OpenEuler, addressing issues and characteristics encountered in Linux system initialization and service management across different scenarios. It aims to enhance the traditional init daemon by providing a unified solution for system initialization and service management, supporting process, container, and virtual machine management in embedded server and cloud environments. Implemented in Rust, it incorporates various techniques such as fault monitoring and sub-second self-healing to enhance OS stability and business availability. OrbStack, a lightweight virtual machine platform for Mac, now supports the OpenEuler distribution. Developers can easily download OrbStack from their official website and create a virtual machine by simply clicking on the appropriate OpenEuler version. Once the creating process is complete, they can use OpenEuler through the command line. RocketMQ on OpenEuler is a way to deploy the RocketMQ message middleware on the OpenEuler operating system through containerization. With the enhanced kernel features of OpenEuler for OS cache recycling efficiency, it improves the stability and reliability for the message middleware in scenarios with ultra-large scale high concurrency, high throughput, and low latency making it a reliable software solution. Currently, OpenEuler has built more than 30 mirror sites. To ensure download speed, users often need to manually configure the nearest mirror site. MetaLink service can detect the distance and availability of mirror sites in real time and seamlessly integrate them into DNF or YAMP. When users install software packages, the service automatically selects the optimal site. Compared to fixed sites, its download speed is more than 10 times faster. Currently, MetaLink service is enabled by default in OpenEuler 22.03 LTS SP2. You're welcome to try and provide feedback in 22.03 LTS SP2. And that's a wrap for this month's episode of Open Euler Now. We hope you enjoyed learning about all the exciting development happening in the Open Euler community. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest news and updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>